All right, welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. Uh, we had a question right over here from MJM Design Studio. It was, how would you upscale the image so that it would be of wall, uh, wall art quality for prints, like selling them on Etsy is what I'm imagining that you're doing. So I said, I'll make a video for you. So that is what inspired this video. So let's get to it. So we're gonna come over here and let's just say, that we right off the bat, you can resize these if you have pro like I showed you in this video over here. If you watch this Canva AI image generator, I show you how if you use pro you can resize any image. And I believe that, that this is going to work just making the size in here that the images in Canva are already going to be pretty upscaled. But then I'm going to show you a free alternative or a free tool that we can go and look for as well. So what are the common sizes on Etsy right over here? for wall art, five by seven, eight by 10, 11 by 14, and a 16 by 20. Let's take an 11 by 14 since it's a little bit bigger than uh, eight by 10. So let's go with an 11 by 14. We'll go back over to Canva, create design, and we will go with a custom, and we'll go with inches, and we'll go with 11 by 14 inches and we'll create that design. It's gonna be like a poster size design, right? So then we're over here and then we would go over into our elements and what do we want to create today? Let's do generate our own and let's just say that it is wolves. Let's just say it's a pack of wolves in a dark forest with snow. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then we'll, what do we want to, create, let's go with this dreamy, make this really catchy and we'll go generate image. And it's gonna go and generate the image for us real quick. So we have some really cool images right over here. And I told you my strategy is to just go and add different pages right here is what I recommend doing. And then I actually recommend throwing each one out on the page. So come down here and then go to this one and then go down to the next one just left click and it automatically will go to the page and then left click. That way you can come in here and you can actually look at these and see, cause maybe you wanna make a pack of these and you just wanna make all, all four of them look really cool. So I like this one, you can see their eyes are red and so forth. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag this all the way to the border. Now you have to work out all the different things about uh, bleed and so forth if that's what you need to do. But you can see the quality of this is really good. Now if we do, we can try some different ones like photorealistic as well, and maybe it will pixelate a little bit more, but we'll just look at this right here. This is already done for you that we can go and now I'm gonna go and share, let's just say, I'm just gonna say wolves, wall art, we're gonna say share, we're gonna download PNG, and we can actually come over here to PDF print, best for printing, and we even have this right over here, the RBG and so forth. I'm just gonna leave all that. We can crop marks and bleed, flatten PDF, include notes, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna go ahead and just push download. It's gonna go download this and get ready for print. Now this is actually what separates, I believe, creating a lot of other art in AI. It's already come a long way, whereas a lot of other uh, places that you can make AI art like this, they they are they do become pixelated pretty quickly. But right here, we're gonna go and test this out and see what it looks like. I'm gonna go over here into downloads real quick, and let's go and look at what this PDF looks like right over here. I'm gonna maximize that on the screen, and you can see that this is really good. This is a giant wall art in PDF print. And you can see that it's, especially right here, it's not a photo, it's more of a drawing, but it's not pixelated. So this is really good. I think that answers your question as far as, you can definitely use, um, you know, just create the right size. And these seem to scale as big as you uh, need them to get. Like right here, if I can really zoom in on this, like just really zoom in, you can see it's uh, almost like it's creating this image inside of here as an SVG type file, because this is very scalable. So I think that you're able to scale this regardless, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try some different things. Let's take that same type of thing and let's go and make a new prompt, but this time we're gonna go and create it as a different, we're gonna create it as a photo and push generate and we'll see what that looks like as well. So that's what I like about Canva. Of course, I have all the other tools as well, but I like Canva because we're able to get all of our work done in one platform, which is super, super cool. So now we can come over here and just look at maybe this one right here. 
And now I'm going to do the pixelation test and see what this looks like for us right here. It still is not really pixelated that bad. I really think that's really all there is to it inside of Canva is that it's already designed to an SVG, if you will, or able to scale these inside of here. Obviously there's something weird going on right there. So we wouldn't be able to use that one. And that's why you just test and you go and grab different ones. Maybe like this one right here. That one even looks even better. So we'll go like that and we'll just utilize this. Unfortunately in Canva, we can't decide the image size with the AI generator. I'm sure that's gonna happen at some point, but in order to scale this all the way, we're gonna be missing that other one, that other wolf over there, but we can move this over and get them all on the page, but we will be missing that tail a little bit. But that looks pretty good. It's not pixelated, it's a great image. I think that this works really well. But if I go and share, and let's just say I download this, and we go into page six, done, and we just download it as a PNG, and we wanna upscale it. There are places um, that you can go and upscale online. We'll come over here. This one's called iloveimage.com or iloveimg.com, upscale image, select image, and we'll go in here, and I'll go over to downloads, and we will select that image, and we'll go over here. And if you want to try to make the image higher quality, you can come over here. But this is going to work more for if you already know that the image is pixelated a little bit, you want to make it clearer, maybe you're designing in something else. I really don't think you have to do this in Canva. I'm pretty impressed with the way that these turn out just by sizing them inside of Canva. The like I said, these images that are being created over here seem like they are not pixelated. They, it's just it's crazy. It's high quality. But we can come in here and two times multiplier right here so you can see the difference right here so this is what it looked like before and this is what it's going to look like so that really does crisp it especially if you're looking at this right over here so look at this wolf right here and then when we scale it look at how look at the fur right here how it's blurry right here and so you could come over here and use this tool and just boom look at it just really makes it a lot better and then what we would do, and you could even do four times right here if you really needed to, but we already have a really big image, so we don't really need to go four times, but just to show you what it looks like. Okay, so we got the four times, and you can go and see what it looks like. It's really not gonna matter too much because we already have the big, we already have the big image in here, right? So I would just go with the two times it's already done it. And then what you could do is just go and download. So you would just say upscale, and you would download that. I'm gonna push the upscale. It's upscaling the image. Let's see if it lets us do the whole thing for free. Your images have been upscaled, download, upscaled image, and then it downloaded it real quick. So that seems to have worked. Let's go and open it up real quick just to verify that it did upscale it for us. And we have our upscaled image right here, and it looks really good. We can zoom in as well, and that's pretty damn good for creating this in a that is pretty good we're zoomed in very close uh, on this one so this is a 11 by 14 i think you would be able to get away with the 16 by 20 as well it looks really good that hopefully that answers your question on upscaling i really don't think you need to do it inside of canva but if you need to or the image you want it to be it did get rid of some blurriness a little bit if you're going to be selling this you may as well go and use this free tool and just upscale the image and it's going to look really good so hopefully that answers your question if I brought any value to you and you're a newcomer to the channel, we're a brand new channel trying to build up um, the subscribers and I'm just trying to um, create the best content for you regarding how to use Canva um, right here. All you have to do is just leave a comment below on um, anything, any questions you have about uh, Canva or any next tutorials you want and I will go ahead and create that video for you. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.